Hey everybody, it's Bruce here with Traveling with Bruce. Got an update here from Royal Caribbean, the ship known as the Voyager of the Seas. She's going in for a major dry dock. About a hundred million dollars is going to be spent to refurbish this massive ship. They're going to make a number of changes. Where are you going to notice it the most is on the back end. This is what the ship has looked like in the past with a huge mini golf course area in the back there. Check out what's going to happen now. They're going to do this. They're adding massive water slides, uh, putting in the uh, flow rider ride. They're moving the fitness center to the back. You can get a better look here what's going on. This is a huge amount of money to refurbish the back end of this ship. A completely uh, different look to it. Very uh, active for uh, youngsters. The front of the ship, just above the bridge, where you see those two wings sticking out of the front there, just above that is where the fitness club is now. The fitness club is going to be taken out of there. That's what it looks like now. The folks have a fantastic view from the front of the ship on a huge, oh, almost 270-degree uh, panoramic view. That area is going to be made into suites. And at the very back of the ship, the very top there, where you see the glass, that is where the fitness area is going to go now. So they'll still have a wonderful view, but out of the back of the ship, not the front. The cruise line wants to add 72 more rooms to this ship. And at least 48 of those rooms are going to be at the front where the fitness club used to be. And they're going to get top dollar. Another addition here is the laser tag zone. They're going to take the skating rink and uh, at various times of the evening, they're going to install this inflatable obstacle course uh, that they've done on a couple of other ships already. And you'll have nighttime laser tag. Very popular. It's going to be a big hit. They're not taking out the skating rink. It's here. It'll stay. Still, it'll still be working. But they'll split the two. They might have ice skating shows in the evening, laser tag in the day, ice skating in the day, laser tag in the evening, that type of thing. They'll sh ship it around. Once the ship is done, she'll be in Singapore right here for three to five days sailing starting in October 2019. And then November 2019, home port will be Sydney in Australia. They'll be doing nine to 12 day sailings out of Sydney. So the folks down under are going to really enjoy this ship. Lots of new amenities, lots of fun. Join me Monday to Friday, 5 o'clock Eastern Time, Saturdays at 2. We talk cruise ships live six days a week on my channel. Subscribe to my channel today. Hit that bell notification icon. Make sure you get updates every time I put up a new video. And if you like this video, give it a little old thumbs up. I do appreciate it. Thank you for all your support for your uh, support of buying merchandise for my store, from the Redbubble store, and also Amazon affiliate marketing. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you later. Bye for now.